This week in Louisiana agriculture. The 2011 Louisiana legislative session is underway and there's a huge budget hole to fill. I'm Avery Davidson with that story ahead. Also, the Louisiana seafood industry is facing the challenges of poor public perception since the BP oil disaster. Now they're making a challenge of their own. And we'll take you back to Panama where a free trade agreement in the works could benefit you. Hello, I'm Michael Dana. Thanks so much for joining us. The 2011 Louisiana Legislature is now in session and facing a budget shortfall of $1.6 billion. Governor Bobby Jindal says he and the legislature must work together to cut the budget and fill the gap. And Jindal said the state's budget can be fixed without increasing taxes. In fact, during his address to lawmakers last week, the governor said he will veto any bill that crosses his desk that calls for tax increases. As this week in Louisiana Agriculture's Avery Davidson shows us, the budget isn't the only issue this session that could impact both consumers and farmers. Ladies and gentlemen, the governor of the great state of Louisiana, the Honorable Bobby Jindal. With those words, work begins on filling the $1.6 billion hole in the Louisiana budget. In his speech before a joint session of the legislature, Governor Bobby Jindal points out that Louisiana has triumphed over tough times before. Last five and a half, six years, we've now been through four devastating hurricanes. We've been through an oil spill, and despite those challenges, our people have come back through each of those challenges stronger and better than ever before. Jindal points out another challenge is that government appears to be growing faster than agricultural industries. As a country, we've got more people working for the government than we have in construction, in farming, in fishing, in forestry, in manufacturing, in mining, and in utilities combined. We can do without all, but we can't do without food. And unfortunately, we have a lot of people who are willing to tax certain industries, including farm industries. That's the worst thing we could do, because the worst war we'll ever fight will be for food. Representative Joe Harrison of Gray says he's going to work to protect funding for the LSU Ag Center following the announced closures of three research stations. Representative Sam Little of Bastrop agrees. I, I just don't know how many more hits we can take, but we've got to find the funds somewhere to uh, operate these things, because once you lose them, you're not going to get it back. Getting local workers back into the fields is a big challenge for farmers. That's why so many depend upon legal migrant workers. However, sometimes foreign workers show farmers forged paperwork when they're hired. Harrison filed House Bill 59 to address that. My bill protects the, the actual farmers and the people who hire them if they have illegal documents. We want to be the buffer between our industry and the federal government looking for a quick dollar off of things that they haven't done and that's make sure that we have the kind of workers we need in this country. And it'll be up to these workers to make that happen. In Baton Rouge, I'm Avery Davidson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Governor Jindal asked legislators to file a number of bills he calls part of the Keep Louisiana Growing Package. If you'd like to read about those bills, you can click on over to our website, twilighttv.org. We'll post a link under this story and also on our links page.